Hey, it's Welcome Soccer from the cast of season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to transform your face into my quintessential bubblegum K-pop, J-pop, anime, manga, bucking and kicking, sparkly glitter, fantasy face. And if that wasn't enough adjectives for you, add Alright you guys, let's get started. Whenever I do my makeup, I like to make sure that I don't get any of my nice clothes covered in makeup, foundation, shadows, tears, shame, whatever. Even garbage clothes like these, I like to protect. So we're gonna take off this uh, weeaboo shirt. So I'm gonna take off the product that's been there before. Don't judge me. This is a dirty kitchen napkin. I think there's also cheese on here, but before I glue everything down, I'll pull my hair back. Hairspray it like this just so it doesn't get in the way. Next we're gonna go in for Elmer's glue, disappearing purple, the same as every other drag queen. This is a new one, this is brand new. I got this just for you guys. So I'm gonna brush against the grain like this and just get as much product on there as possible. I'm gonna use this dirty, dirty, dirty Con Air comb and I'm gonna comb the direction that I want my hairs to go into. And usually what you do is you'll comb up if you have really, really long hairs or really thick hairs. I found that because my hairs are so thin, I can just go to the right. I can just go the way that they're normally meant to go and everything will be fine. And what I also like to do is uh, sometimes my sideburns are a little bit um, longer. I'll glue them down too. I like to have more surface area in my face. Hello. <laughs> Take that brush and brush your hair back. Just like that. Dangerously close to slapping myself in the face. So now that they're dry, we're gonna go ahead and do a second layer. Can I have a hair tie? Look, if your hair gets in your way, just like put it up. There we go. Last layer of glue, this is what you do. Um, saliva, if you watch Trixie Mattel's tutorial, she licks her glue stick so that the uh, saliva kind of makes a nice even finish on it. I take it a step further. Just take it. Just... Huh? and um, just apply it to the areas of your face. Everyone has that one area on their face that does not glue down properly. And for me, it's this area right here. That part always comes up every single time. And then while your glue is still wet, take, uh, I usually take Cody Airspun powder. A lot of people say that it gives you clown lung and it's true, I'm dying, please help me. And what I like to do is to get it on here without it sticking to the puff is I'll lightly dust and then I'll press it in. I'll press in that powder just like that. I just like the visceral slapping sound on my face, honestly. Just wait a little bit, just wait a few seconds, wait till it dries and then you can dust everything off. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and this primer makes your face really, really, really sticky and it keeps the keeps your base on for a long time. And I will put them in places where I need my primer first, so. And then I will put that into my skin. Everything is glued, everything is primed. We're gonna go ahead and cover these areas specifically, these thicker areas that require, that require more foundation. Uh, I'll take my Beauty Blender. This is, um, I haven't washed this since I got it. I don't remember, I think it was 2009, I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna pound this in. Uh, this is like Maybelline 24 hour foundation. You can get this at any CVS. It's very, very, very cheap. It's very light. I have rel relatively good skin, so I don't need like super, super full coverage. And I also don't have that much of a beard. So I feel like I just dissed someone in the audience. I'm sorry. So I can do a little bit of this liquid foundation here everywhere. And now we'll just put that into our faces. Okay, so I have the even tones on my makeup. I'm gonna put on the darker tones. Beige rainbow. And I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna take it and blend it upwards. This is gonna stay the same and we're going to clean it up later. You'll see that right now, it's not very even. We're gonna fix that as soon as we're done with our powder. So bear with it. Sakura tip number this one is just put stuff on your face and fix it later. There's no reason for it to be there, but it's there anyway. We're gonna go ahead and do the highlight right now. So I have F1, which is another TV paint stick, and I'm gonna take this concealer brush. I'm gonna just wiggle it on top, very sexy, you like that? In this little like beak area, my, my facial beak, 
right here I like to do a line and this is gonna do this has a lot of purposes so this is going to direct where our black eyeliner is gonna go later and it's also gonna pull back the face and make like a triangular shape on our face blend that down I'm also gonna do it here and on the chin I'm just gonna take the tip of this beauty blender like the is this the nipple I'm gonna take the nipple of this beauty blender and I'm going to blend in the highlight. Don't do that. <laughs> so I have um, like a more neutral, like a base shade, my regular shade, and then I have a very, very light shade. We're gonna go with the light shade first. I'm gonna take this artist brush that you can get at any like Walmart, Walgreens, you can get on Amazon, any artist supply store, your grandma probably, no, your grandma doesn't have. And the best part about this brush is it lets you do these areas very sharp. Now that we have all the highlights on, we're gonna do our full face and regular powder. Let's get rid of all the excess. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna darken all of the shadows on my face and we're gonna use contour powders and I'm gonna reinforce all those shadows with this contour brush. There you go. See how I told you this was gonna come off? It did and I was right. Just bear with me. Take your contour right here, just up and down. And poo. And that's what you want, okay? Shade chin, shade chin, shade chin. We're gonna clean everything up now. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my mid shade, that's that NB2. So this line right here, this is pretty crisp, but it can be crisper. So we're gonna go back in. Oh yeah, see that? Oh. Well, I'm gonna blend that down really quick. It's like a cut crease. So look at this side. Look at this side. Look at this side. Look at this side. This is very, very sharp. Trace that line and it's going to help make this nice and sharp. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinforce those highlights with that highlight powder. All right, I got my highlights back on. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add blush. I like to mix these two tones right here or three tones. Uh, it's all pink. So just blend that in, and I'm doing it like mid, midway, not all the way down to where it's dark. Dust off the excess, and this is where we're at. We're all contoured, we're all blushed. The next step is eyes. The first thing you wanna do with Sakura eyes is plan out your face. I'm gonna take this eyeliner from House Laboratories. This came with the Lady Gaga Stupid Love palette, and I'm going to mark out where I want my black liner. I'm gonna move out the end of the eye just a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna take it out. See, just like that. I stop right where the sideburns on my hair go up, like right at my hairline, I'm gonna stop right there. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring it down. Oh God, I've never done this before. I'm shaking. And I'm aiming for this area right here in the middle of my eye, just so when it hits forward like this, it hits this area. It looks good from the front. We're gonna turn to the side and this is how we're gonna view our eyeshadow now. Your eyeshadow isn't just from the front, okay? If you have what I have, I have a bridge on my nose, it looks different from the side. So we're gonna take the liner and we're going to bring it up here. And that's how we make the basic liner shape. So I blocked out where my eyes are gonna go. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my shadows and all the colors around here. I've, I'm thinking, I'm imagining a like bubblegum, hot pink, Pepto-Bismol fantasy on your face. If you do not have the funds to get like a cream foundation, you can always use your lipstick. Right here at the beginning of my brow bone, I'm going to make a crescent moon shape and I'm gonna go up. So we have that shape. I'm going to blend it out with my finger really, really quick. So the makeup is still tacky right now. I can go ahead and put some eyeshadows onto it and it will stick. You can tell which colors I've been using the most. And those are the colors that we're gonna use today. We're gonna use Level Up and we're gonna use Rage Quit. We're gonna take it, we're gonna press it on that somewhat damp lipstick. Ooh, ooh wee. Do you ever wonder what it feels like to be a god? This is what it feels like. The best part about this makeup is you don't need eyebrows. I wanna go in with a more concentrated, hotter, hotter pink. 
And we're gonna just reinforce that color on there. Damn. I'm hot. Towards the tail of the black liner and the inner corner of the black liner, we're going to use a darker shade. And basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna create like a nice little illusion of depth. Get it in that inner corner. The next step for you is we're going to add a fake brow bone and we're also gonna add a fake crease. I'll take another concealer brush. I will take the white. So I'm gonna go from the very, very top of this shape that I've created. And then I'm going to blend it down. How does Nikki Tutorials do this? See where my actual eyebrow is? It's right here. We're gonna go even further than that with our fake cut crease. Okay, now that I placed the white down, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with one of my holy grails. Oh, I love this product so much. It is Taco from Sugar Pill. I'll take Taco on a little eyeshadow brush. I'm going to set down that brow bone. See that? I'm gonna set it down. Shut down that brow bone. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the crease with the same product. This is usually the time in your makeup where you contemplate all of your life choices. I didn't make any good ones. And now we're gonna add the shadow back in and kind of reinforce those shapes and gradient the colors a bit more. Take that hot pink from the Rivera palette mm. again. That's nice. There, see, we reinforced that color and now it's so beautiful. And now you're a full grown lady who's ready to take on the world. And now I'm gonna take that pink and I'm actually gonna lightly, from the very outside of this white area. Now I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it on the inside too, just a little bit. Wow, she's pink. Do you think I'm a makeup girl? Do you Oh, yeah, you at home. Do you think I'm a makeup girl? I always, I, I, um, I think I'm okay at makeup. So I'm gonna reline that black. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in just the inner corners. When you do your liner later, it is so hard to get into some nooks and crannies. If you have a good eyeliner pencil, you can get into there first and then gradiate with your gel liner that you're gonna do later. So I'm gonna just fill in this inner corner. Inglot AMC Gel Liner is one of my favorite, favorite products to put on my eye. It's so matte black, it goes on so easy. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this Duraline um, liquid from Inglot, and what this does is it kind of breaks up the liner itself um, and makes it more workable. I'll put it in the Dura liner right here and then I'll go into the actual liner and clean it off scrape it on the side boom 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 and now I have this like nice squared off eyeliner and I will fill in the blanks oh wow oh she's beautiful I forgot to blush the tip of my nose so just add a little bit of the blush just right there on the tip beautiful now we're gonna focus on the bottom part of our eyeliner. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take the white from the Ultra Foundation. Take that white, and now we're going to block out the shape that we want right here. Now we're gonna follow this black line up here. We're gonna outline everywhere that we're gonna go first. This is just like the black liner. Outline, then fill it in. You might think that this is very scary, and it is. I'm probably gonna go blind um, eventually, but I haven't really seen anything that I want to remember, so. Take your dome brush, put it in your taco. I'll press it right into there. So, I'm done with the white. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this kind of darker shade up here, this hot pink, and I'm going to bring it from this corner, I'm gonna bring it down. See, that's pretty. Ew, I'm gorgeous. I'm gonna take that liner, bring it down. I like to bring it down just a hair, just like that. You see this uh, inner corner right here? It's gonna somewhat be a little bit above on the other side. And now I'm gonna connect it right there. Take some more of that hot pink, and while it's still a little wet, I'm gonna gradiate that together. So now we've done all of it. We're gonna go ahead and do it on the other side and I will be right back. Ooh, 
look at that. We're done. Okay, see, I took the extra time to get them even. Sakura face is, I mean, maybe like three fourths eyes. So you want to make sure that your eyes are popping. You want to make sure that your eyes are pulling out all the tricks, all the stunts. And I'm going to do something that I love to do absolutely, which is draw sparkles on. It's going to be thin on the end, thick in the middle, and thin on the other side. That's what's called line width variation. So we're gonna start at the top. Again, we're gonna go skinny to fat to skinny. It's gonna take a, a little bit of finesse, a little bit of practicing. If you're new to makeup, it's not gonna come super, super easy to you. Um, practice keeping your hands still and practice being very intentional with your lines. If you start thin, you can always make it thicker. If your line is thick, you can't go back in and fix it. So. Try small lines first and then vary it up. Variation really just makes the look better. If they're all too uniform, it's gonna be very bland and very boring. I'm gonna add another white line. I'm gonna add a spike of white right here. Like a fake eyelash with negative space. So the next part is we're gonna be doing our nose contour. I didn't forget about it with this white liner and we're gonna go, we're gonna start here. So I'm gonna put a dot right here. I'm gonna go a little bit above it and I'm gonna just place it here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that white from before, that white cream, and we're going to place it on our nose. And now I'm gonna blend it in using my pinky. And now that it's all blended in, I'm gonna set it with a white. Or I like to rest my hand on my chin and just do a little dot. All right, let's go ahead and start with our lips. Of course, my one of my favorite products again is this Krylon Super White Foundation, is I will draw the top of my lip like a milk mustache. People always comment on my things and they say milk mustache. Look, I like the milk mustache, okay? Leave me alone. It's my style, okay? Just like everything else that we've done in white, we're gonna go ahead and set that with taco. I'm gonna line my lips with my lipstick that I have. I just have one shade of lipstick. Okay, we're gonna follow these lines up here. And now I'm gonna take the inside corner, I'm gonna bring it up to here. It's gonna meet with this contour line right here. And kinda see how it's like very angular right here? You're gonna wanna kinda marry those two angles. There we go, we've done the top lip. We're gonna go ahead and trace the bottom one now. And see how my lip ends right here? I'm lining right underneath the lip, see? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pat off some of the excess. What that's gonna do is, it's gonna make sure that our lips aren't super chunky. Our lips are wet right now still. It's just like we did with our eyes. We're gonna take that shadow, that hot pink, and we're gonna press it on the outsides of the mouth. What I'm doing right now is I'm using that wet lipstick to use the shadow as a way to line my lips, and it's also creating an ombre on the inside. We're gonna highlight the lips right here. Just highlight the top, and we like to keep hard lines and then gradiate them down. See? Take the residual white on the brush, go right in the middle. Go ahead and set it with your white again. We're gonna go ahead and blend them together. Now I'm gonna take that mid-tone stick and I'm gonna clean up the lip. Once your foundation is on there, just blend it down. And take that brush one more time with your light powder and set that in there. And we'll dust that excess off. Uh, doesn't it look pretty? Doesn't it look pretty. Okay, good, see? <laughs> I have to get approval. I am so sorry, Anastasia. <laughs> Color Luna, and I'm gonna pat it, highlight to the cheeks, and I'm also gonna take a little bit on my fingers, put it into this white on my lip. Lit Cosmetics has some of the shiniest glitters to ever grace anywhere in the world, period, mama. I'm just gonna, Mm. Lick my finger and I'm going to lightly dab around the areas that I want it. Take a dry finger and then I'm going to lightly dab it in the areas that I want. I can't swear, but I would because it's so pretty. <laughs> I'm also going to take some of that glitter and put it up here. I'm gonna put some on the highlights of my lips. Next, I'm gonna use this glitter gel from Electra Cosmetics and it is in the color Opal Unicorn Bolt Bomb. So I'm gonna use it uh, relatively sparingly. She said as she continued to dabble the glitter on her eyes. Different sizes of glitter will add so much dimension to your face. 
mascara. And the last thing is we're gonna set our makeup. I see beauty gurus do this all the time to where it looks problematic. It's still going. Is there a timer on the bottom how long I've been spraying this? Everything's dry and the last step for the face is to put on Lashes. <laughs> I forgot what they The they're blinky things! Is this lash glue strong enough to hold all 15 of my lashes on my eye? I'm gonna keep the inner corner on my eye, but the rest of it is gonna go upwards. And we're done! Yay! This is the final makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and get some earrings on. Earrings and the rest of my uh, accessories, and we will be done. Ooh, okay, you guys, so I got my hair on, I got my earrings, I have these nice rhinestone gloves and this Santi Alley dress. You gotta have a cheap Santi Alley dress. $15 is too much to pay for a dress, but I did it for you guys. A nice, beautiful holographic choker, and this is the look. We are living our bubblegum pink fantasy. Thank you so much for following my tutorial today. I hope that you had fun. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you got to share a couple seconds in my own neuroses and see what it's like to be in the mind of a crazy person. And I also hope that you don't have enough respect for yourself and that you tried this makeup tutorial yourselves. If you recreated my makeup, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tag me on Instagram, tag me on Twitter. Send these pictures to me because I would love to see them. I miss the table. I would love to see them and I would love to see you guys recreating this makeup. And if you want to support me on Patreon, we have lots of cut footage from today's video, but it will be up there as well as other behind the scenes footage from other videos that we've made before. Thank you so much to all of my patrons that helped support and fund today's video. Wow, look at these names. I hope that you consider supporting me on Patreon because I'm just a little baby. I'm a little baby. Bye everybody, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.